Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Midnight Suns. In the last episode, we got convinced Spider-Man that he's a, this is a safe place and everything, and so he showed us his, his secret identity and, you know, shared it with us. We had a long, meaningful conversation with him, kind of learning his backstory and whatnot. We also found out that Nika wants to plan Magic a surprise party, so we need to work on that for her. And right now, she is really pissed off because the fact that the Avengers are planning their next move, move and researching stuff with Sarah and leaving the entire team of the Midnight Suns out. And she's getting ticked off that basically they just the Avengers just waltz in, take over the place, and exclude the team that originally was here from anything. It just, yeah, big mess. So we got a lot of stuff we need to do. We also have stuff we need to open, upgrade, etc. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay. So we need to Hunter, got a question for you. Okay, what's up with you? Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? Um... Why don't you ask them? When facing a demon, aim for the heart. Always do. And why are you talking to me when you should really be talking to them? Or at least her? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? I don't want to say you have a crush on her, because I don't think he does. He doesn't act like he crushes on her. I'm sure she admires you, too. I have no doubt Carol also appreciates what you bring to the team. I hope so. I try to do my best for my allies. Well, I am sure she is also impressed with your efforts and has noticed you as much as you have clearly noticed her. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you guys have nothing to say, right? You know, yeah. The Avengers oh. might do Heroic. Differently, but they always have good Heroic. I'm sure everything's fine. It's, uh, it is fine, right? <laughs> Poor Peter, he just walked into a big old mess. Okay, Robbie. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course, let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. <sighs> Awesome, so that's taken care of. Okay, let's see. Credits. Okay, didn't you... Wasn't there someone in here who had a question for us? Okay, nope, no. Or, yeah, he does. He has a question for us. Why does he not have an icon above his head? Tony? Tony, there you go. That was weird. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Okay, how are you holding up? I know how hard it can be when everyone is looking to you for answers. Just know I'm here if you need me. Well, that's really nice. Thank you for your words, but this fight is my destiny. We'll take a little down. No man. Yeah, no. I'm going to go with the three Iron Man friendship and the 300 light bounds. It's good to know that I'm not walking this path alone. I appreciate your words. Thanks, Hunter. The Hunter's choices have allowed the light within to grow brighter. A new collar is now available for the Hunter to equip, granting a powerful passive ability in combat. Continue earning light balance points to unlock further rewards. Ooh, we got a new collar. Equipping Hunter Collars. Hunter Collars can be equipped at any time outside of combat. Collars grant powerful passive rewards when the Hunter plays certain higher types in combat. Okay, so my new Ivory Collar. The next Hunter attack card played is not discarded. Play three light cards to earn in combat. Okay, so whenever I play three light cards, 
which I do have three light cards, right? Uh, one, two. I only have two light cards, but they can be redrawn, of course. But so if I play two, three light cards, then I'm able to have my next attack card not be discarded. Okay, that's useful. Now my question is, did I actually gain like a? Because don't I have a color option for like customization? Oh, I guess I don't. Huh. I wonder if they just change on their own or like uh, the appearance wise up, or if there is a, even a, like a, a change in appearance. Okay. Wow, like everyone needs me to talk to them today? Wow, everyone needs me to talk to them today. Um, can I interact with anything or do I have to talk to you guys? Oh no, I can interact with my stuff. Okay. I want to interact with my stuff first before I go start doing like a bunch of that stuff. I want to get my st things opened. A okay, first, this is done. Okay, so it's kind of like a dance. Well, dance fight, really. Dance fighting. What do they call that? Capybara? No, that's a little furry thing. It's Brazilian, right? Capa, capo. You know what? That blade knows. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Whoa. Okay, so that makes it to where... <clears throat> I got, like, something in my throat. Oh. That makes it to where knockback attacks do more damage now. Whenever we go equip that uh, to the whatchamacallit outside... Okay, now, I'm trying to figure out which of these to go with. So we could go with another combat item slot, or we can go with this, which would give us the new combat item schematic for gaining, giving someone lifesteal on their attacks, which could be really useful, actually. But I think we need to be able to bring two items into battle. I think that's our next major thing. We're getting really close, though. Soon we can get the Book of Ashanti, which will be awesome. Oh, the best of us. And that gives us the combat item, the Nanotech Weave, which that was really useful in that last battle. Science fair. Craft rare quality combat items at the item bench. Yeah, that could be useful. Okay, so we're getting some better stuff, but we'll go with the combat item slot too as our next research topic. Okay, gamma coil. What you got for me, boss? Come on, give us some good stuff. No problem. And we got Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or okay, another forge. winds of Watum, that's always a good one. Quick kick. The hunger. And chain strike. Ooh, these are all good. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with. I'm thinking I might go with quick kick and the hunger. Just because even though I love Winds of a Tomb, I think these two might be better because I'm using these characters a lot. Okay, Leia, let's try that. We'll go you and you. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. And Artifact Study. What do we got? Please tell me it's not another animal. <laughs> oh, we've got Rod of Knights. Trash is another's treasure. I'll let you be the judge Lots of essence, one. a common blueprint, and then we have to wait till night to do that one. Ooh, sweet research level up. Sweet. One of us isn't the miracle worker we claim to be. So we'll be able to get I'll the Book of Ashanti you. crafted, which is going to be so useful, but we gotta wait until this one's done, because I can't stop one once it's started, right? Yeah, you can't stop it once it's started. So we'll definitely do Book of Ashanti in the next, uh, after our next mission. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Go collect our essence, because we got a lot of it going now. I need to do more of the artifacts uh, side missions, I think, because that's really useful. The getting the artifacts and the the all the essence it gives you and everything. Okie dokie. Um, let's go check our skill and do our sparring thingy. I always take that route. Why do we never go out this door? Okay, yard upgrades. 50 credits to this, which will heroes will no longer take damage when enemies are knocked into them. Oh, that is awesome. So that's why. Okay, so right now enemies have been taking, this does teamwork tactics. So before, if you hit an uh, enemy into one of your hero allies, it was just like flinging into them. But this will make it to where they'll try to work together and deal more damage to it. And it'll, they'll do not take damage. That is so, 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 so useful. I am so glad we got that. Cool. Okay, uh, daily sparring. Ooh, friendship XP, and they increases them to level 5. 
Um, so who's not level five? So I can use it on Robbie, Nico, or Iron Man. I'm thinking we go with this sucks Doctor Strange is injured because I would love to use it on him, but we'll use it on Iron Man. I guess I could show you a couple of things. Here we go. Good stuff. Cool, he leveled up and we got friendship. Power friendship. And let's check our upgrade Back abilities. Again. Okay. So for Blade, Not I can upgrade the Hunger, which is apply two mark to every enemy with Bleed, of course, the normal way. stuff, and then recover 24 health for each enemy with Bleed. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, that would be awesome to have. Just, just saying, like, because if I could do that thing like I did last time where I um, hit three enemies with Bleed, and this is free to use, he could just heal so much. That's really good. Okay. So we'll definitely want to get that eventually. His quick kick, I can upgrade it to if target was damaged this turn, plus 22 damage. Oh, okay. So basically, quick and knockback. And if I use it after I already damage that target once the same turn, it'll do an extra 22 damage. That's actually really good. You know what? We'll go ahead and waste the attack. Well, not waste. We'll use the attack essence to upgrade that one because that one's really worth it. Awesome. Can't wait to see how this goes down. Oh, what's the other thwip do? Fireman attacks against the target deal 50% increased damage. Oh, so you can bind him and then throw stuff at him and it does increase damage. Yeah, that's kind of okay. We'll, we'll hold off on that. Cool. Okay, so that's taken care of. Is there any other essence out here? Because I'm spending a lot of essence. Wow, everyone's hanging out at the pool today. Or I guess creek? River? I don't know what you call that. Okay. Um, What's going on with you guys? Blade. Why would I need to edit your deck? Oh, because I got the other hunger card, but I didn't equip it. That's right. Yeah. Okay, you're good. And yeah, you're all good. Okay. That's what it was. I was like, what's going on? Okay, yeah, so next up, you what's up with the new Nico? Me. Yeah, that's how this works. <laughs> you don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. I mean, I know the good option would be, like, we need everyone to stop Lilith. Like, you know, you can't... We do need them. But also, I'm gonna tell her, you know, scream it. You know, get it out. That's okay. Now would be the time. To what? Scream. No one will hear you but me. What? You want me to shout, Screw you, Avengers! Go back to your tower! If it makes you feel better. I don't usually scream unless people are shooting at me or hurling a fireball at my head, but yeah, just getting the words out is kind of cathartic. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're going to rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun, cone of silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. Awesome. Oh, her friendship level is ready to increase. What sucks is I don't think it's gonna let me do it now, right? Yeah, hers is ready to increase. These guys are getting really close too. Yeah, if I talk to her, it's not gonna let me increase it. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing, but um, I don't like it. <laughs> I just walked up to you. Gosh, that was mean. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, where's Charlie, by the way? Because I don't think did I pet her yet today? She's right there. She is. There you are. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Yeah, she's such a good girl. Oh, I guess I did already pet her today. 
I can never remember, but like I said, it doesn't hurt to pet her. Okay, let's talk to you next. Good to see Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. Let's see, there's always another way. Well, you'll get through this. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? Let's see, the future is not set. I know what you are going through. Yeah, we'll go with that. I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future, sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the chosen one there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a tortured vision book club or something. I'm always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. Well, that went really well. She's really easy to get the friendship points with for talking to her. It's like, you know, some of the characters is really hard to get a read on, but she's one of them that's like very simple, like straightforward, you know, you can get a real read on her personality from the beginning. Oop, credits, I'll need those because I'm spending them like crazy. Okay, what do you got for us? Um, I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? I mean, I could tell her the truth, but I told Nico I wouldn't, you know, say anything. Let's make a joke. Someone poured the last cup of coffee and did it make more. Something terrible happened this morning. Someone poured themselves the last cup of coffee and failed to brew a new pot. A bloodletting almost ensued. Oh, well, I laugh, but these petty conflicts are a sign of a team on edge. And who can blame them under these circumstances? In truth, anything that will amp them up like caffeine is probably the last thing they need right now. I should probably take the coffee maker and throw it out. But I fear that might result in a full-out rebellion. Oh, thank you for being my eyes and ears out there. We'll speak later. You know, that should have given me more standing with Nico, honestly. I mean, I know she wouldn't have known that I didn't tell him, but, like, from a game design standpoint, it should have because I kept her secret kind of thing that she asked me to keep. But, again, not that big a deal, but that's kind of why I went with that answer. Otherwise, I probably would have just told her straight up because, Hello. you know, I want, I think she might be able to kind of, you know, fix it maybe? You know, bring the Midnight Suns in on this more? I don't know. Oop, new book. All went black. The collapse snuffed out the little bit of light that shone from the moon above. We were trapped, our only way out buried beneath scores of rock. There were no other passages out, and we had no tools with which to dig. Our sanctuary had become our tomb. We had so little with us, only scant bits of bread and a little water. It would not last long, maybe a week at best. It would have been a kinder death to have stood before the hanging tree and made our peace before the Almighty himself. Well, that sounds pleasant. Uh, let's see. Any other glowy bits anywhere? Glowy bits. I hear something, like, sparkling. Oh, it's the computer on the other side, isn't it? Nothing 
else in here, it looks like. Yep, looks clear. Oh, do I have enough stuff to craft that uh, color palette thing? Nope, I still don't have enough of the oyster mushrooms because I haven't been picking them. Probably need to run out and actually go pick some stuff now that I think about it. Um, We have talked to everyone, so let's just step outside real quick. See what's going on out here. We are level 5 of 8 to be able to do that quest easily. Um, yeah, let's gather some stuff. Just real quick, I just need a couple of more of the uh, oyster things. I'm planning on doing some of the gathering between episodes, but the problem is it seems like I randomly just walk into story stuff and I don't want to do that and not be recording, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> a lot of the uh, story stuff is just kind of located randomly. You'll run across it, or you'll pick something up that's like, hey, this is a piece of lore, or, you know, stuff like that. Like the tarot cards or that kind of thing. I don't want to pick one up um, off cam and not show you guys because I think those are really cool because they talk about the other characters like from the Marvel Universe and whatnot. Okay, there's usually... These usually aren't too hard to find because they're usually right... Uh, I said usually like six times that one sentence. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, They're generally... Yeah, see, they're right there. Um, around all the trees, like the base of the trees and stuff. Uh, just right outside the building. Luckily, we get quite a few whenever we uh, pick them up. Three or four per. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Come on, there should be some more, because this is pretty much where I went last time to get almost all of them. Whenever I needed them before to give to magic for the last quest, I found a bunch of them just like right around here. Huh. Then again, I wonder if they spawn in like, not necessarily different locations, but if they have like a random spawn thing where it's like, oh, they spawn here and then you pick them all up and then you go somewhere else and they spawn there now, that kind of thing. I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Seriously, he got stuck between there? Come on, there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe up here? Nope, nothing along this path. I found a lot in, like, the forest area, too. Like, uh, up around... Was it up here? That I found some? I don't think it was up here. Like I said, it was just kind of located randomly around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, oh, there's some. Was there more around the tree? Oh, there was. Cool. Yeah, you generally find about three around trees is what you get. Should be enough to craft the color palette thing, but should I save them up? I think I might just hold on to them for now, instead of spending them on a color palette. Do, 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 do. Okay, this was the way back to the abbey, right? Yeah, because there's Agatha's shrine, well, her uh, memorial, whatever you want to call it. I still need to find the rest of those statues at some point, too, but I have a feeling they're, like, further in. Just we can't go further in until we get uh, the other abilities unlocked. That chandelier scared me for a second. I thought someone was hanging from the ceiling, and I was like, what's going on? Uh, I don't think we got any more intel, right? No, we don't have any more Thanks, intel. Hunter. Okay, what do we got? Side missions. Okay, we could do the next story mission, but I think I want to do some more side missions. I might do another... Ooh, we can really use credits, but intel caches are also really useful. That's another blade mission. We just did a blade mission. Ooh, but it's a rare... Oh, it's a hard mission, though. But it's a rare coil. Okay. We're gonna go for it. Yeah, we're gonna try it. This could go very, very bad. I am definitely bringing the hunter. And I'm thinking I might bring ghost rider. I'm trying to bring, like, my heavy hitters. Let's write her Captain Marvel, because she also hits very, very hard. Magic is good for comboing, but she's a little squishy. Haven't brought Iron Man for a while. He's supposed to hit pretty hard, too. You know what? We'll bring Iron Man also. We'll, we'll try this combo, because then he could also get in. We'll bring our recovery nanobot in case we need a cure. Yeah. There we go. We'll go with this team. <laughs> the epic slow walk. I still find it funny whenever they do that at the start of a mission. 
Okay, let's see. So how hard is this really gonna be? Okay, retrieve the supplies before the hydro truck drives away, break the enemy protection to access the trucks, use the recover supplies card to secure supplies. With everything going on, Hydra is still attempting to smuggle artifacts right under okay, our so noses. that's the protection guy. We have a chance so here we need to, to get, get rid of him of ASAP. Back. He helps disable the truck. You give everyone get block. Trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. Yeah, Done. this one is the best one. So we want to get this ASAP. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> Knockback and quick attack. That's useful. So if I was to use that on, like, you, and knock back into that, it wouldn't kill you, though, and I need the kill to make that worth it. Uh, let's actually, yeah, we'll use a redraw on that to strengthen it. And we'll blast this guy. It says it could push it through objects, so would it push through this thing to hit the guy behind it, or what? I know, but we'll do that, because that's going to do a lot more damage. This shouldn't take long. Yeah, he didn't go through that item. Oh well. Um, <laughs> we'll just go for the freebie here. Hail <laughs> that. You, hit you. It sounds to me like they just missed their mama. Okay, if we were to go Iron Man, if we were to push you, would that kill you? No, it won't kill you, dang it. Um Oh cool, I can chain three and it covers Oh, so close to a white area. So, so close. Darn. Um. <laughs> Cause that's kind of pointless to use on him. It would be better against, like, you. It sucks, it's like they're all so far away from each other. Erg. Okay, well, I wonder if, uh, Blade was to... Could I throw him close enough? Yeah, I think I could. So if I do that... And then I was to do this... Awesome. Let's do this. Boom. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, we'll call it there. Wow, they're all going after Blade? Really? Ooh, he's dazed. This is not good. Double dazed? And reinforcements. Luckily, it wasn't like a super villain. Is the guy gonna run back to protect his truck? Yep, he runs back to protect his truck. Is that, a that truck is about to move out. You're running out of time. Nope, we should be good. Permanently disable the truck. Slow them down, but it won't stop them. Get to the artifact before they figure out what happened. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll spend a redraw on that. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll do that. I think that's our best bet. Here we go. There we go. That was nice. Whatever gets the job done. Kind of a waste dude on that guy. That oh, I was so close to killing him. But yeah, so we could do that, or I could use the whip, which would allow me to. Blow that up, that wouldn't do any good. It would kill the guy, but I honestly need to protect Blade. Anyone go after Blade, which this guy's also going after Blade, which is bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll take you out and we'll, like, really lower your health with it. There we go. Weak, even for Hydra. And then this guy is blocked, like protected, so we can't fling him around. I can, however, is that would help. <laughs> is that block card free? No, it's not free, because I was gonna say if it's free, I definitely wanna do that. Um Let's do that. Spend the heroism to do this against this guy. Which will get rid of the protected status. Awesome. And I'm out of playable cards, and I'm pretty much out of heroism. I mean, I could throw this at this guy, which would kill him. Yeah, let's do that. Spend all of our points, but this would be nice. There's a good chance Blade might die, though. Uh, let's see, he's got 29 health. This guy is going after Blade, and he hits hard. So I'm going to... Wait, uh, does Curing not heal? I thought Curing healed. Does it just heal status effects? Is that what it said? Oh, Cure is just status effects? I thought it was, like, healing, I like, health. Oh, dear. Well, oh well. Uh, <laughs> we'll just see what happens. He's probably gonna die. Oh no, he's still up. He's got like six health, six health left. Barely hold it on there. Yeah, so he's injured. And they're both playing against him. Yeah. And he buffs them into frenzy, which does that mean like every three attacks they get to go? And he's gonna self destruct and cause a huge explosion. I might be in trouble this time. Okay, let's take out the quick guy, because I think he's going to be the most annoying. Not quick, uh, frenzied. So let's get rid of you. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, sweet, he leveled up. Okay. Let's recover supplies. Awesome. Um, I really want to do that, but I need two more heroism. So yeah, I could do these. That would give me the heroism I need. Well, actually, I don't really need that because these guys are like, I don't know who he's attacking, but oh, he's just yeah, he's the one who he only buffs his teammates, so. I'm thinking we might be good. I think I might do this instead, maybe? Or, uh. Yeah, let's do... Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, if I use that, that would use up a card, and then I would use his Surgical Strike, which would let me attack these two guys. Okay. 
No, I don't think I want to do that. I think what I want to do... Okay, I'm just gonna grab this guy. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, if I, I could grab you and... I could throw you into the explosive, right? That would do, like, serious major damage, right? Let's see if I do it just right. Let's try that. Your time has come. Lots of damage. Fair enough. Okay, now they're both in the firing range, and then I think what I want to do is defensive posture on all of us. There we go. And then I want to. Dang it, I'm not in a good position for that. A Tony might boop. No, no, no. Uh, Tony might be, right? Yeah, he's in a good position for this, so let's do that. You guys should talk to your union rep. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. <laughs> there we go. Let's do that. What's up? Yep, really hurts that guy. We got company. Yeah, but we're good. And then he's gonna frenzy someone, right? Oh no, he heals. Oh, that's bad. Not gonna last long at this rate. Okay, let's get the last supply recovered. Got an artifact. There we go. Supply crate has been recovered to feed the remaining enemies to complete mission. The artifacts cool. are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? Uh, let's see, okay, probably need to do this to heal Blade up. But I mean, he does have block, though. Hmm, yeah, maybe try this. Maybe you could get one of the, my really good cards. Yeah, let's try this. Come on, one of my good ones. Okay, let's see. Nope, I got nothing for him, so that kind of sucked. I could always do a redraw, though. Okay, let's redraw this one. I know it's kind of stupid, but... Man, I was really hoping for a blade card. Okay, I'll use my last redraw on that. Come on. Not what I was looking for, but it's a quick one, so yeah, I'll take it. Is Lilith paying you guys anyway? It can't be enough. Sweet, now I can stake with him. But who's the hardest hitting? You got 145, you got 131. Yeah, you're just a nobody, but we'll do ahead and stake you to get that health back. And now he's bleeding. That one's free to play. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play that. There we go, he's been marked. And then I went to... Okay, where's the... You're the wimpy guy. So we'll just take you out. Alright, so it's just these two guys over here left. <laughs> Ooh, good thing we had the block. But he is stunned. That sucks. Oh no, he's healing him, isn't he? Dang it. But there shouldn't be any more reinforcements being called. Oh, but he's gonna try to blow himself up. But he's bleeding. Nothing to worry about. Okay, I can forceful knock back you. Ooh, that would be awesome to fling him over into that thing. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Fling that way. As a there child, we go. I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Okay, someone's feeling a little full of himself. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this one. What do I get? Ooh, another forceful knockback. Let's see, what's... Oh, he's stunned, so he can't do his explosion. I was like, why isn't it... You know, I was looking for the explosion damage stuff, but I wasn't finding it. No, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see, how does this do? 
This would almost kill that guy. What if I actually charged you? There we go. Doing him that way would kill him. So let's do that. You are lucky to still be breathing. Awesome, because he was marked. I got a refund. Let's holy flame you. Lilith herself could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better? And then let's stake him. I mean, he'll probably just bleed to death by the end, but I think I could just use his the movement ability thing to kill him. Sweet. <laughs> awesome. That, was a very that went pretty well. Outing. Good work. Victory is ours! And no one died, right? No, I don't think anyone did. They got close. Cool. Got a lot of good stuff out of that. And now it's nighttime. Build Nico's combat therapy upgrade to heal hero injuries in a single day. Ooh, yeah, that would be nice. What sucks is we can't open any of that stuff up we got this night, but we can go to the, the altar thing, given what we have. Ruin lots of friendships up. Progress on that. Robbie needs to talk to us. A lot of people need to talk to us. Um, <laughs> do we have any super links? Just the daily bugle. Rent is going up and black goo is oozing down. Numerous tenants in New York City have reported black, possibly toxic goo oozing down their walls. The mayor refuses to comment, leaving citizens to fend for themselves. I'm afraid it's far more sinister than your plain old toxic black goo. These are all buildings directly above ley lines leading to the sanctum. Sweet. Sweet. Rent's probably down in some prime locations. Peter, nobody can live in an apartment with supernatural black goo on the walls. Not according to my last landlord. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's all we got out of that. Okay. There's a lot of people we need to talk to, but we'll save that for the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. And until next time, see ya!